What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. It's uh, against this level 9 Indonesian clan, Dark Indo. Uh, Indo, Indonesian, makes sense. 75 66 victory for uh, 2.0. So, nice job, gentlemen. <clears throat> Another green stripe. Uh, had a little bit of trouble in their top 11s there, but other than that, uh, basically cleared the board. Missed one of the 10s as well. Uh, unfortunately, no TH10 triples to show you this war, but do have a few really interesting nines. Uh, Miss two nines. It's interesting. Um, what do we have here? Gorn, 99%. Gotta love that. And 98%. So, nice job, boys and gals. No, there's no gals. Poor Jen. We miss you, Jen. Anyhow, we're going to hop right into this. Uh, just want to blow through a few of these nines for you and call it a night. Uh, King Brett on their top 10 here, or top 9, sorry, brings uh, basically a shattered Goho, uh, but with four earthquakes, two heals, and one rage. Mm -mm -mm. Creating that funnel. Earthquake is down. Uh, I've hit this basically the same base. Sometimes the core walls are a little bit different, but. Um, very, very patient on this entry. Just really letting every all those wizards clear everything out. Finally drops that. Sorry. It, it was actually a stone go home. I've had a set shattered earlier. But there goes that third golem. King is in behind. Reason he brought the third golem is because they're just going to stand in there and really get good, good tanking value and all that. Plus the CC is very deep into this base. Um, so he's engaging the CC like way in there. He really wanted to make sure he had tanky for his king. And it bought his queen enough time to step up and start taking that stuff out. So in a moment she's going to do so. And she's got to get that expo down. No, nope, locked onto that dragon, down it goes. Already has sent a few hogs in, kind of just sprinkling in on these outer defenses. He's really going to enforce everything down on these Teslas. There goes uh, basically, no, let's keep saving eight in the bag for uh, later on up here, but just really feeding around the ring now. Has one more heal that's going to go down over this Tesla Expo Air D area. Any second, down it goes. And last few hogs in on that cannon, just keep pushing everything right into that core. Queen's still standing in there with the ability. That good old swag wall breaker in the bag. Clean up wizard on the outside. Really nice attack there, KB. <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. When's he going to burn the queen ability? Or is he going to swag it? He's got more than enough hogs. There it is. Oh, on the bottom on the outside. <laughs> Gotta love that. Tree stars in the bag. Chief Lalo stepping up from 28 to hit their number 11. Again, these, these guys weren't, um, they didn't have the most amazing base designs, right? A lot of symmetrical bases. So uh, we really took advantage of that. Uh, funnels got created. Uh, just goes cold blooded with eight Valks here, allowing him to still bring 22 Augs in the bag. The four earthquakes jump. Uh, four earthquakes and a jump. Yes, that's also why I wanted to show this because he jumps over into this uh, core and then earthquakes over top of the Tesla farm there. Uh, gets the bombs on the way to start sending in the hogs kind of from the uh, nine and three locations. Rages it up, make sure that lab hound goes down ASAP. Everything is now going to continue its way into the core. Valks have worked in. Earthquake is down. Bombs are getting triggered. Uh, Rage is really getting amazing value there, right? His queen is just mopping up from behind. In goes the king. Really, the Valks kind of gets not, not really stuck over here, but they start getting drawn to these outside buildings instead of the, to the core, but it doesn't matter. His king hasn't even raged yet. There it is, finally. Rages it up, takes down that town hall. He's going to move on to those expos that are almost dead, and uh, everything's moving into the Tesla farm now. And he has a bunch of hogs still moving in. Uh, still four more hogs in the bag. I think he kind of sends them in from six here or something. Any second, he's going to send them. But all the Teslas are down. It's really just these uh, two Archer Towers and the Wizard Tower remaining. Huh. Swagging those four hogs or what, Lalo? <laughs> or he's just waiting until his queen gets up there so they can uh, kind of be attacking the defenses at the same time. That's good thinking. Down they go. Mop up. Time. See you later, base. Tree stars in the bag. Good job, Lalo. All right, so this Horcatic 
had the luxury of doing something a little special. We're going to show you this stack first, and then uh, we'll show you afterwards. Uh, I'll keep it as a surprise. But Caddick brings uh, basically a standard uh, Shattered Lalo here. Two golems are in. Funneling troops are down. Queen's in there taking out that king. She's going to start working um, the defenses uh, in this first outer rank, or outer compartment, rather. Uh, king goes in. Everything's going to work itself into that queen. Rage is down for uh, all of those uh, kill squad troops. Uh, poison goes down nice and early for the CC. Jump goes down. Make sure everything continues progress into that core. Queen's going to just really rip through a big chunk of this base now because she's standing in that rage. See you later. All around the outside. CC troops are dead. Everything's looking good. And in comes the air attack first. Uh, Lava Hound is down. Really nice, good stretch on that. It gives his balloons just enough time to get on top of these uh, air targeting troops. Take them down before their uh, before the hounds out of range. <clears throat> Second hounds in. Two more loons. One more loon. Two more loons. Just sprinkling all in. Rage goes down to push everything right on top of that air defense now, and everything is now going to pass right on top of these Teslas. Uh, hounds in there. That third hound finally goes in and just in time to uh, kind of gets there right when that other one bursts. So that's perfect. Loons are in under the rage, right under the Teslas. See you later, Tesla. See you later, air defense. Really, there's nothing left other than that wizard tower that could be a problem, but uh, just too much for this base. <laughs> nice job, Caddick. Kaboom. Almost lost that big chunk of loons, but no big deal. A lot to clean up on this base, actually. <laughs> Not many pups left. Needed that last hound to burst. Maybe got that in a little bit earlier, so it tanked. I don't know. What are you going to do? So what I was speaking of earlier, what Caddick had the pleasure of doing is both his hits were on the exact same base, but using two different three-star strats, and he came away with the six-pack. So really sexy, Caddick. Let's take a look at your other one here. So as you can see, the exact same base. He came in from this side before, literally like the exact same base. So what he decides to do this time, brings a little Queen Walks, got six Valks, he's got four Earthquakes, two Rages, and a Heal, uh, 15 Hogs in a bag there, uh, I think a Cold-Blooded Golem. <clears throat> Queen's going to do some serious work, he's created that funnel, he's going to push the Queen up and around. At the same time, he's going to get the defensive Queen, a big, big piece of this base. Um, you know, that, that rage timing is really good because he was uh, getting beat by those three-point events for quite a long time. See, down goes the defensive queen. She's standing in a rage. See you later. Three shots, and she is done. That queen's going to continue her way up here now. He's going to yank this uh, CC out and pull it over to the queen next. Here comes the drag loon. Uh, I think he just burns the ability here. I'm not sure if he throws down another rage. No, burns the ability exactly. He takes down that dragon nice and quick. See you later, balloons. Everything's going to continue its way up here. And at any second, he's going to send in that golem and a bunch of Valks. He's got a funnel off the other side. There's the golem. Golem goes in. Wizards go down. Going to really create that funnel off that army camp, which is perfect. <clears throat> Queen's going to continue her way and meet up with these golems. He's going to send all the Valks in, everything in this section of the base. And just really, like, look, 27%. And he hasn't even sent in the kill squad yet. In it goes. King goes down. Valks are going to follow. There they are. Everything moving in. Queen has now met up in like perfect timing on this on this raid there, Caddick, because like the queen was literally going to that section right when you started to deploy your uh, king and your Valks. Everything's moving in. These, this little Tesla farm doesn't stand a chance. Queen has not even really been uh, touched. She doesn't have the ability, mind you, but boom. Rage goes down for those wizards and the queen again. Just going to get insane value out of this kill squad. 50% of the base is dead and finally just uh, says, you know what? I'm just going to throw the hogs at the rest of this base. A few hogs on each defense on the bottom two compartments because other than that, there is nothing to worry about. King finally rages it up, starts beating through that wall. Queen's still doing work over there. Two more cleanup wizards on the outside, like just smash this base Caddick. I'm not sure which one you hit first. I think it was the other one. Um, but really nice job, buddy. It's tree stars in the bag. <clears throat> from our uh, friend from uh, the Netherlands. Oh, man. Uh, what else I got here? I think I got one more to show you. It wasn't the craziest for Chad. I want to show this stack because 
It was so, so, so close to Chad uh, not getting the three star here, but at least potentially not getting the three star. So watch this little queen walk he's, he does. Um, this queen gets into serious trouble, but just, just, just pulls away and uh, ends up just having her come back up to full health. <clears throat> See how low she's getting here? She's tanking the, uh, the uh, mortar. I didn't think we would see what was getting her so low, but look how low she got. She had no health left. So just in time, that queen gets away. She continues to go. I think that she, he meant for the queen to go down and then throw his kill squad in from this side because uh, he tried to funnel on the other side. So um, interested to know if Chad actually meant to, for his queen to go this way or not. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, either way, she's getting really good value. Finally, after a bunch of bunch of hogs tossed in at that, uh, pulls out that CC. Poison is down to help take care of uh, the troops. Dragon is dead. He used the ability there, which I think was very, very smart, right? So he's already burned through um, a rage, and now his ability has got to jump and two heals left there. <clears throat> she's just going to continue her way. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you meant for her to go down here and meet up with the kill squad. Uh, I can almost put money on that. Uh, either way, it ended up working just fine because look again, the queen gets so low and then takes out the archer tower and bam, I'm going to heal you up right back up to full. So nice job, Chad. Queen just would not die. The queen that wouldn't die. King is going in, knocking down that defensive queen like it ain't nothing. All this stuff's getting taken down. 44% of the base before he's even really deployed a hog. A couple hogs in on this section and a giant and the rest of his hogs on this last little piece of base. Uh, has a heal. He's going to drop. Boom. There it goes. Going to keep all these hogs healed right into that expo. Queen is now coming in from the backside. She's going to step up and help out. Sends in a bunch more hogs on the rest of his hogs at that point. So he had like four more for that Tesla, which I thought was kind of smart. Oh, five more actually, but he lost three to the spring trap and then another one right away too. So some tough luck on this raid, Chad, but you ended up pulling it out and just kept your composure. Nice job, buddy. Oh. Love showing raids where I know for sure they didn't go how the person had thought they were going to go, but they just keep their composure, rock out the tree star. Nice job. So... Dark Indo. See you later, guys. Maybe next time. Um, obviously, uh, Town Hall 11 content will be coming soon. Guys are still working out the kinks and uh, and such. And we have a lot of new guys going up to 10. So it's only a matter of time, guys. I know I know uh, a lot of people are kind of sick of the Town Hall 9 content. Uh, I definitely will never not show you guys any Town Hall 10 triples that we get. Uh, I hope you know that. Um, but we do have a lot of new guys going up to 10. So it's just a matter of time while everyone uh, goes through that transition phase. And uh, it's Town Hall 10 time. So uh, hope for the time being, the content is keeping you entertained. Uh, I do my best, right? Uh, so that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. Until then, I'm out.